Hey, this is Dave. How y'all doing? What you're looking at here is a chart of advanced auto parts. The symbol is AAP. Uh, now what I want to do here, I want to show you how I draw trend lines. And you can see I have one, two, three, four, five. I got five trend lines drawn. The trend lines are these white lines. And what we're going to do, we're going to take them all off. And I'm going to put them back on and show you show you how I got those trim lines. Now this is a three month daily chart. So I am using the 20, 50, 200 EMA, the volume, and the full stochastics. So we'll go up here. We'll select our trim line tool. And the first thing I want to do is get an overall trend. So I'm going to start here at this low point. And I'm going to draw up here to this uh higher low point there's my first trend line now I'm gonna look at this and I say okay I see resistance up here so I want to I want to uh, trend I want to uh, draw that resistance so let's see what the high was a high that day 5234 so let's just draw this trend line at 5234 and we'll take it over to here and now we'll go in here in our uh, property settings and make sure both of them are 5234 so our trend line will be getting straight. Okay, now what you see we've got now is a wedge. We've got an upward wedge pattern. Uh, price is trending up. It's met resistance here at 5234. Uh, it's came back down to, to uh, the bottom of the uptrend line. And now it's, it's it is uh, getting caught in this wedge here and it's either going to go up or down. Well, let's go back a little bit and let's draw another trend line from this low to that higher low right there. Let's take off uh, the right extension. Let's see, where is my right extension? Okay. Now you see this is a, a smaller uptrend within a larger trend. And over here, I can see where we hit resistance here, here. So let's draw, let's see what that high was. That high was 46.88, that one 46.78. So let's go to 46.88 and let's draw a line from there to there. Let's take the right edge off. And now we'll go into properties and make sure it's 46.88 on both ends. That makes our line getting straight. Okay. So now you can see how it's starting to take shape. We've got the uh, longer term trend going up here. This is a shorter trend inside of that. This is where we met resistance. When it broke over resistance, you see we've got a gap. Well, what happened? That was earnings. You see these little symbols right down here? That tells me that uh, they reported earnings. That's why you got a gap up. This gap will probably get closed uh, sooner or later. So we've got our resistance here, support here. Longer term trend is up. We've run into some uh, resistance right here. And I want to draw one more trend line right along this area. Let's see, that was a low of 50.05. That was a low of $50 even. So let's make it 50 even. And let's put a trend line right here. Uh, let's take the right extension off. And let's go into our properties and make it 50 even so our trend line will be nice and straight. And there you go. So now what you're looking at is what we started off with at the first of the video. Long term upper trend, shorter upper trend, resistance, broke above resistance. Now we've hit resistance again up here. 
we found support here so this overall picture the overall picture right here is we are in a wedge in an upper uh, in an uptrend rather excuse me and I kind of look for this stock to uh, to break out to be honest with you now all you can do is watch it and see but I think once we get above 5240 I think uh, Vast Auto Parts is going to be a buy. Uh, I appreciate you watching my videos. I hope you make a lot of money, and I will talk to you later.